be outside in this cold for more than just a few minutes, but imagine doing it shirtless and wet. I don't want to imagine. Mm. The man known as the Great Lake Jumper has not uh, allowed the extreme cold to stop him from that morning ritual, which is jumping in Lake Michigan. Dan O'Connor is that man, and what started as a way to break up the monotony and drumbeat of negative news during the pandemic three years and seven months ago continues to this day. Dan, why? Oh, Dios mio. Oh, boy. How are you doing? I'm great. You're doing great. Okay, is it much, much worse to go in the lake this week, or has it been much worse this week than some of the other days you've done it? So explain it to me. Yeah, I think uh, the last uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday were probably the, <laughs> you know, three a three-day stretch, the worst it's been in half years. Yeah. Have you ever had mornings, though, where you thought, I'm too tired, it's too cold, this is not happening today? You know, uh, I just made it part of my daily routine. And, uh, you know, after going 365 days doing, I, you know, I had mentioned that. And, I, you know, I asked people like, you know, what have you done for 365 days? And it got people thinking like, I, you know, brush my teeth, mm. eat, sleep. And um, so I, it's just something that, uh, you know, I really found some enjoyment out of and, uh, you know, some peace and tranquility. And, you know, even with the weather like this, um, you know, jumping in is, uh, it's a, an amazing and endorphin rush, but uh, it is very calming and uh, it's a great way to start the day. Yeah, but even after this week, I would imagine maybe, are you thinking it could come to an end and sometime soon? Because this has been a really brutal week. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't really have an end date in mind. Uh, and I never really did. When I started it, uh, I had people start to tell me about November that I probably wouldn't be able to go through the winter. And it was the pandemic. And I'm like, why not? Why not me? Why can't I? Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, from there, it just uh, continued to build. And, uh, you know, when I started having musicians out, um, because during the <laughs> pandemic, they, there wasn't stages for them to be playing. And uh, so that kind of, uh, you know, put more wind in my, yeah. my sails, so to speak. And, um, you know, I just I found a place where I could go and it was peaceful and I could find some some moments of Zen. And, you know, even in you know weather like this, uh, you know, there is that uh, it's just a great great feeling and medically the doctors tell you everything's okay after you get out i mean i would imagine you do you get scared of frostbite have you had any issues uh not really i mean i i've learned to you don't want to jump into the ice because mm -hmm. the ice forms like shards and uh it uh cuts the skin pretty easily um but really besides that you know i told my doctor i was doing it and he didn't really give me any advice one way or the other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Dan, thank you so much. And I love that you have included others, including musicians, and kind of become a little piece of Chicago yeah. history yourself. You can follow him uh, on Twitter. He posts his jumps each and every day. Dan O'Connor, we appreciate it. The Great Lake Jumper. All right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate your time. Of course. Thank you. Still ahead, the Bears.